Hello and welcome to Copilot 2. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're going to see how Copilot can help us understand the data in our workbooks. Let's just go ahead and move into the first exercise. Exercise 1. In this exercise, we have a table with a bunch of transactions. They have a transaction ID, a region, a rep, an item, and an amount. And we'd like to ask Copilot to help us understand this data. Copilot. And we can type in our prompt here. But before I do, we can also view some sample prompts. And these are categorized under Create, Understand, Edit, and Ask. If I click on Understand, I get a sense of the type of prompts it's expecting. So what I can do here is I can say, what is the total revenue for each region? All right, it comes back with a built-in graph and also a little explainer. I'm going to go ahead and add this graph to a new sheet. And now what we can see is that it actually built a pivot table first and then created this chart. And that way we get both a table and a graph view. And basically this is a first pass. And I can always now manually edit this pivot table or this graph as desired. So this is really cool, especially if I'm an Excel user who doesn't really know that there is a feature called pivot tables or how to use the chart feature. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Here I have an employee list. It shows their employee ID, first name, last name, street, city, state, zip, department ID, and department. And I want to get Copilot to help me understand how many different employees are there for each department. Copilot, how many different employees are there in each department. Okay, and it comes back with a preview and also a little text breakdown, which I could copy. If I want to insert this into a new sheet, I'll click add to a new sheet. And here I can see this provides the distinct count of employees for each department. That's exactly what I wanted to know. All right, so with that, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise three. In this exercise, we have a table that has a bunch of transactions for items, quantities, price, and cost. We'd like Copilot to help us understand these transactions. Copilot, okay. What are the top three items in terms of sales quantity? All right, here it gives us this little preview. It also gives us a little text description. So I'm just gonna add this to a new sheet. Okay, now it's inserted a pivot table. It's filtered it for the top three and it's sorted it by quantity descending. And that's exactly what I was after. Now let's try what are the top three items in terms of margin? I'm unable to determine the top three items in terms of margin with the current data. Could you provide the formula for margin calculation? So let's say add a margin column. Like, I'm not going to write it. How about you write it? All right, and it gives me this preview and it's basically calculating the margin, but it's not applying that to the quantity. So let's say the margin needs to be the total margin for the transaction. Okay. And here it calculates the total margin for each item by subtracting the cost from the price and then multiplying by the quantity sold. This looks more like what I want. So let me go ahead and insert this column. Great. Now let's say this. What are the top three items in terms of total margin? So what we see is a draft of what looks to be like a pivot table, which I can add to a new sheet, and then also a little description. Let's go ahead and add this to a new sheet. All right, let's widen this out. Let's zoom in. And as we can see, we have some of total margin and then the top three. And so this is creating a draft of a pivot table, which if it looks good, we can just use it. Otherwise, we're free to edit the pivot table as desired. For example, I can go into value filters, select top 10, and maybe instead of the top three, maybe I really want the top five. But at least it gets the basic pivot table started for us. All right, so those are a couple of ways that Copilot can help us understand the data in our workbooks. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 